Namaste, dear students. How are you doing? Fantastic. I would like to welcome to the English class of grade 8. Dear students, if you are a bit far away from your television seat, this is time to come closer with your pen, English textbook, financial, whatever things that you need ready. Are you ready, dear students? Great. So today, we're going to begin Unit 5 and let's start with getting started task. Dear students, can you please read the instruction that's given under the getting started task? Please go through. Great, you're right. So it says, what are the people in the pictures doing? Pictures, right? There are four pictures given. So what are the people that in the pictures doing? How would you convince them to do something you'd like them to do, right? You want people to do something and what is your job? So your job is to convince people, okay? Your job is to suggest, your job is to persuade. So today we'll be learning how to convince people, how to suggest people, and how to persuade people and what are the expressions that we can use. Shall we begin? Great. So let's begin from the first picture. What can you see in the picture? All right. There is a boy. What is he doing, you think? You're right. It's watching television. Do you think watching television a lot is good? Yes, it's not good. This is the reason what you're going to do. You're going to convince him. You're going to suggest him not to watch television for a longer time. So how can you persuade? How can you suggest? Yes, you're right. We can use the expression like, why don't you stop watching television and help your parents in the kitchen, right? Instead of watching television, you are suggesting him to help parents in the kitchen. You also can use the expression like, what about slowly decreasing the amount of television you watch? Sometimes people are very used to watching television, so it's very difficult to get avoid the habits. So this is the way. You also can use the expression like, I think you should replace television watching time with your hobbies and healthy activities, all right? That watching television time can be replaced by some other hobbies and healthy activities. That's great. Let's go to second picture now. What can you see in the picture? You're right. There's a big bus, right, on the road. There, and there are three children. Are they using zebra crossing to cross the road? Yes, they're not using. Is it safe? It's not safe. So, for this kind of problems, okay, the children are not using zebra crossing or for the people who are crossing the road, how would you suggest them for the safe crossing of the road? Can you think about some expressions? That's great. You can use the expression like, what about using zebra crossing while crossing the road? That's good. What about next? Yes, don't use phones or headphones while crossing the road. You'll find people using telephones or using headphones or using phones to cross the road, which is not safe. So you can use the expression like don't use phones or don't use headphones while crossing the road. You also can use the expression like I think you should make eye contact with the drivers before crossing the road. When you make your eye contact with the drivers, the drivers might know that, oh, you are crossing the road. And he or she might stop the bus or some other vehicles. Yes, you can use the expression like, why don't you look both ways before crossing the streets, right? You have to look both sides, right? To cross the streets, that's good. Now let's go to the third picture, all right? What can you see? 
You can see a man there, right? What is he doing? Oh yeah, he's, he's lifting a very heavy load perhaps. And do you think this is a good idea? I don't think so because, you know, the way he's lifting, the load is not proper. So it's improper lifting might have back injuries. So you have to protect your back. And for that, you should have proper lifting and you're suggesting him or you're, con you're trying to convince him or you are persuading him not to have a proper improper lifting. So what are the expressions that you can use? Good. Why don't you carry loads on your back? Instead of putting heavy loads on your soldier, what about carrying on your back? What about avoiding improper lifting? You might have back injuries, right? This is how you can convince, you can suggest. You also can use the expression like, you should bend your knees before you lift the loads. That's also a safer way of lifting loads. And uh, let's use trolley, yeah, to carry the loads. This is how you can suggest them. Yes, what about next picture? Okay, you can see a man plowing field, he's holding a big stick, right? Okay, and animals perhaps is beating, okay? So, you know, plowing means, you know, it's all about turning over and loosening the top layer of the soil. And that will make easier for seedling crops to take roots or removing weeds. Um, so, what are the suggestions that you would like to make? Yes, do not beat the animals with the sticks, you're right. Or more. Why don't you walk through the fields and remove the obstacles, right? On the fields you might have obstacles like stones or some roots of the trees and you just need to avoid them. What about harnessing animals to the plow? You should not plow unbroken animals, right? Animals should be broken into the plow, otherwise plowing might be very dangerous. So this, these are the suggestions that you'd like to put. So, dear students, for suggesting and giving advice for people or to persuade them, you can use the expressions like, what about, you should, dot, dot, dot. You also can use let's, or you can make the expression like, why don't you, and so on. Yes, dear students, I think you get some ideas on how to suggest or how to persuade people, how to convince people to do something that you want. Now, this is time to go for the second task and that is reading. So, before reading, there are two questions given in your textbook. It says, have you ever heard or read a fairy tale? What is fairy tale, dear students? Do you think a tree can talk? These are the two questions. Can you have a think on these two questions for a while? Great, dear students. So, what is fairy tale you think? Can you give some ideas for me? That's good. So, it's a short story that usually involves imaginary creatures and even magic, you know, there's magic in the fairy tale and it's about magic, it's about enchantments and it's about mythical characters on time. So it describes something blessed with unusual happiness, okay? You're given blessings by unknown sources perhaps. Or the characters are like tree, even the monster, the flowers and the witches, yeah? So even you know tree can talk, okay? Even the non-human Animals, even the non-living th things can talk in a human voice. Uh, that is what happens in fairy tales. So it's all about imaginations, all right? So fairy tale is all about those things. And the main purpose is to give us a kind of, you know, moral lessons. Dear students, can you think now what we're going to read in our reading text today? Can you make your guesses? You're right. So we are going to read a story that has the title 
the old woman and the lime tree. Can you go with the title again? The old woman and the lime tree. Where can you see in the picture? Yeah, there is a tree, a lime tree. And look at two people, what they're doing. Yeah, they're chopping down the lime tree. Now, let's read what the story about. So, before we start, what I suggest is, please go through this story and get a pencil with you. And whenever you come across with some difficult words, you underline them and we'll try to deal with that words in context to the story. Is that okay? Good. So let's go to the first paragraph. Can you read, please? Yes. Once upon a time, there lived an old couple who were very poor. Who were very poor, the students? Old couple. Do you know what this couple mean? Yeah, pair. Yeah, husband and wife. They were husband and wife once upon a time and they were very poor. They were not rich. One day, the woman said to the man, to her husband, you know, and in order to come as there, no. Why don't you go to the forest and cut down a lime tree for us to use for firewood? So what does the old woman want to do for the old man? Yes. She wants him to go in the forest, cut down a lime tree. Why? Yes, to use for the firewood. You know, in the previous time, the firewood we use firewood to cook food in our oven, all right, in our kitchen. Very well, said the man. What did the man say? Yes, very well, said the man. He took an axe and went to the forest. He found a lime tree. Okay, in the forest, he went to the forest, he found a lime tree, and he was about to chop it down. Chop it down. What does chop? Chops. You can write somewhere in the corner. Can you think? What does chop mean? Yes. Please use with the pencil and write in the margin somewhere. Chop means to cut down, right? So he wanted to cut down that lime tree. And you know, it, 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 there was a surprise again, but you know, but what happened? The lime tree said in a human voice, Oh my god, look at there now. Okay, it's a very I think um, this is a fairy tale, isn't it? Why? Because look at the tree here, tree talking in the human voice. Okay? The tree talked in the human voice. What did the tree say? Please, old man, don't chop it down. And I'll do you a good turn someday. Right? I might be giving you some blessings. I might be giving you your wishes come true. So please, don't chop me down. Do you think the old man chopped down that lime tree? Oh, maybe or may not be. Dear students, okay, the man was so frightened that he dropped his axe, you know. What is frightened? Ah, <gasps> oh, something like that, you know. Yes. Why was frightened? Because the man had never heard a tree talking. Okay. He stood there and thought for a while and then went home. He told his wife what had happened. She said, and you know, she was very smart. And she said, what a fool you are. Go back at once and tell the lime tree that you want a hearse and a cart. You can see in the picture, right? So what is her first wish? A hearse and a cart. Why? Do they need that? Because they were tired of walking. Maybe so, said the man. Putting on his own hat, back he went to the forest. He came to the lime tree and said, Lime tree, my wife wants you to give us a hearse and a cart. Okay? He did whatever his wife told him. Very well. Look at the tree that told. Very well. You shall have them, 
Go home now, said the lime tree. The man went home, and what should he see there standing beside its hut? But a cart with a hearse harnessed to it. Okay, you can see in the picture, the hearse is harnessed. See that, old man, said the wife. Now, you and I are as good as anyone except for our hut. Please, the students, except. You can write its meaning. What does it mean? Apart from. Our hut is so world that it might cave in any moment. Another phrase there, cave in. Can you guess what does it mean? Oh, yes. Look at the meaning. Cave in means collapse. They are very now, they have hearse and a cart and the, what they want now? One more house, new house. Why? Because their hut is very well and that's going to cave in any moment in the future. So they want a new house. Go and ask the lime tree to give us a new one. Back when the man to the forest and he asks the lime tree to give them a new hut. Very well, you shall have it, said the lime tree. Go home now. The second wish is also granted. The man went home and he could hardly believe his own eyes. Because Why? Because when he went home, he saw a new house there. Okay. For where once was there, old house to the new one. The old people were so happy at Sheldon. Why were they very happy? Because the lime tree, yes, granted their second wish too. What was the second wish? A new ha house. Okay, their old house was replaced by new one. Now, why don't you go to the lime tree and ask it for some livestock and fowls? Once we have that, will need nothing else. So you have your livestock. So what does livestock mean? Oh yes, the old woman was not satisfied with, the, with even with the second wishes. So what she wanted more? Livestock, what does it mean? Animals kept on a farm, okay? Look at the picture here, livestock. She want livestock and poles. Poles? Yes, birds which are kept for meat. That's what they wanted to be very rich. What do you think the old man did? Okay, let's see further. Yes, your guess is correct. The man went back to the forest and he asked the lime tree for some livestock and fowls. Very well, you shall have them, said the lime tree. Go home now. The man went home and there were livestock and falls and plenty in the yard. See, what does plenty mean? A large amount of, okay, a large amount. There were plenty of livestock and falls at the home, in the yard. What is yard? In the garden, you know. He was overjoyed. Who was overjoyed? The man was overjoyed. Why was the old man overjoyed? Yes, it was the third wish. What is that? Livestock and pots. That's what you think, said his wife. The old man was thinking that we don't need anything more now. But do you think the old woman is happy? No, the old woman wanted something more again. So what did she tell him? To go back again and ask the lime tree for some money. She wanted now, she wanted money. Back when the old man, means the old man went back to the forest and asked the lime tree for some money. Look at the money, okay? Do you think the tree gave them money? Okay, let's see. Very well. You shall have it, oh my God. This was also, this wish was also granted. Said the lime tree, go home now. The man went home and he found his wife at the table busy 
What, what was the old woman busy? Counting and stacking golden coins. Stacking to arrange. She was arranging golden coins. She had, okay, because golden coin, their money was also granted. We are rich now, old man, the woman said. But still she is not happy. But, no. But, okay, look at this. It brings contradiction, okay. Rich people must be feared. So, go and ask the lime tree to make everyone fear us. Back went the man to the forest and begged the lime tree to do as the old woman had asked. Because now the old woman wanted all the villagers to fear, to terrify, you know. So, golden. What does it mean, golden? Yes, made of gold. Fear, yeah, frighten. Yes, you can write somewhere in the margin of your book with a pencil. Oh, look at the now. You have soldiers and policemen, okay? Very well, said the lime tree. Go home now. The old man went home, and who should be there guarding the house but many policemen and soldiers. But even this did not satisfy the old woman. We have nothing to wish for now but all the people in the village to work for us, she said. She is still not happy, you know. Okay. You have the two new words there, guarding, that means protecting. Satisfy means to make people happy. Now, what is her another wish? She wanted the villagers to work for them. That's the another wish. Let's see whether that wish comes true or not. You can see in the picture a man working. So she wanted all the villagers working for them. Oh my God. Ah. Let's look at the final part of the story. Back when the man to the forest and he begged. What does begged means? He pleaded, requested the lime tree to let the woman have her wish. Okay? What was her wish? She wanted all the villagers working for them. That's good. The lime tree was silent for a while. And then said, go home, old man, and I'll do one last thing for you. Okay. The old man went home. Look at the contradiction over here. Look at the result here. And when he reached at his home, there stood the old hut with his wife beside it. Their new house was gone and everything else with it, all right? Everything, whatever wishes were given to them, everything was gone. There was only the old house, and beside the old house, who was there? His wife was just there, you know, lamenting and maybe crying, you know, because all the wishes are gone. So this is story adapted from Ukrainian or folktale. The students, I think, uh, you know the plot, I mean, you know the story of the, you know the story now. Let's go with the comprehension exercises. Can you read the instruction, please? Yes, you're right. Replace the words in red with their synonyms from the story. All right. Can you read, please? Good. The old bridge was going to collapse, which terrified the people. Can you please replace the word collapse with its synonyms? Of course you can. The students, please go with this paragraph. You'll find the answer. Oh, you're right. Cave in, right? Collapse means cave in. Look at that now. Our heart is so well that it might cave in, it might collapse any moment. You're right. Fantastic. Let's go to the second exercise. Can you read? 
Yes, the little girl pleaded with her parents to buy her a bicycle. The little girl pleaded with her parents to buy her a bicycle. Please, can you find the answer in this paragraph or in the text? Oh, yes, you're right again. Pleaded means begged. Yes, back when the man to the forest and he begged means he pleaded, he requested the lime tree. All right. Next, please. The players were delighted after scoring the winning goal. Delighted. Can you find your answer here? You're right. Overjoyed. Delighted. Overjoyed. An idiot. When I lost my passport, I felt such an idiot. Can you find the answer in the text, please? Somewhere here. That's good. Feared, right? The mountaineer was scared as he tried to climb dangerous rock. Scared. Please, you'll find somewhere here. You're right. Frightened. Distance. Now let's go to exercise. B. Can you read the instruction, please? Put the following events in the correct order. The job is putting, there are so many events given here. Seven events are there. You have to put what happened first and then, and then, and then. And now this is what we call plot, the sequence of events that happen in store. What comes first? Can you make a guess? Please read the text and find out. You are right. There lived an old man and an old woman. What next? Good. The old man went to the forest to cut down a lime tree. What next? That's good. The old man sent her husband to ask for a hearse and a cart which was their first verse. What happened then? Can you think? That's good. The old man asks for a new heart. You know? Once their first wish was granted, she still wants another wish. What is that? A new heart, okay? a new house. What next? The two old people were as happy as children. That's good. What next? Yes, you're right. The old woman wanted to frighten everyone. Yes. What about the next? As you know now, right? Everything was lost at the end because she had a kind of excessive greed, you know. Whatever things were given for her, she was never satisfied. That may be the reason, you know, the lime tree at last was silent and everything was lost. Whatever things she, were granted, she was granted. Dear students, now this is time to go for exercise C. Are you ready? Good. Answer these questions. You are given questions and you are supposed to give your answer. Can you read question number A please? Can you read for me? Good. Why did, that's did, you know, the question is in past tense, remember. Why did the old man go to the forest with an axe? Okay, find the head words. Look at the head words there. Forest, axe, you know, man, old man, go. Can you find the answer in the text, please? Somewhere here. Mm -hmm. Great. Answer there. He took an axe and went to the forest. He found a lime tree and was about to chop it down. Why did he go? He went to chop it down, chop down the lime tree that's great so you have a moral answer here the old man went you know because the question is in past form you're gonna write you're gonna give answer in past form too the old man went to the forest with an axe why 
to chop down the tree. This is how you solve the question. Next question. What did the lime tree tell the old man when he was about to cut it down? I know. It was the first time for the old man hearing a tree talking in a human voice, you know. Yes, you'll find the answer somewhere here. You write again. Look, but the lime tree said in a human voice, please, old man, don't chop me down, not to chop down. You see? So you have a model answer here. When he was about to cut down the lime tree, it said in human voice, not to chop down the tree, not to chop him down. Okay. List the things that all people receive from the lime tree. Yes. You can find somewhere here. Okay. You're right again. Look at the things. What things? Cart with a hearse. Old hut instead of new one. Uh, sorry, new home instead of old one. Livestock. Golden coins, policemen and soldiers, okay? These were the things, okay? Look, the cart and horse, a new house, even the, you know, livestock, money, you know, and soldiers and policemen go for guarding their house. Only the final wish was not given. Now, next question. Do you like the old woman? Why? Okay, you have the answer somewhere here. Yes, you're right. Okay, no, I don't like the old woman because she's very greedy. Because of her excessive greed, the tree was even silent at the end and took everything back. Whatever the Wishes were granted, they have, they are taken back. So I don't think, why, what is the main reason? The main reason is that the old woman was very, very greedy. She thought it's enough for now, but st she still wanted something more and more and more. <laughs> okay, you're right. Um, now let's go to the another question. What? What lesson did you learn from this story? This is the last question given in the textbook. What lesson did you learn from this story? Yes, moral answer is given. It might, you, you might have different answer, no problem. So I think for me, uh, the lesson of the story is that we should not be greedy. Yeah. We should be satisfied with what we have. The excessive greed results into a disaster, you know. So we should not be as greedy as the old woman was in the story. This is what the moral relation. We should be uh, we should have be satisfied with what we have. Dear students, we have come to the end of today's class. Um, I think uh, you know about the lesson if you have any questions you can consult with your teachers with this i'll see you next time namaste have a good time